Welcome back to Un Unexplained. I'm your celebrity host, John. What are we in for today, computer? Uh huh. Yeah, we'll do that in a sec. D did you say celebrity host? Are you a celebrity, John? Uh, of course. You've definitely heard me on podcasts. I'm John. I'm John. From podcasts? I don't listen to podcasts because podcasts are boring. It's just talking. Talking is stupid, John. Okay, sure. Maybe some people can't get into them, but real intellectuals savor thoughtful conversation. Oh, like like this thoughtful conversation? It's your number one dump boy. And this is John's Dumpcast, the only podcast recorded from my own bathroom with once-in-a-lifetime guest, Sarah Silverman. Can we please do this somewhere else? Okay, but I'll have to wipe. And it's clogged. Uh, how much do people pay to hear defecations, John? Well, they don't exactly pay for it. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. I liked it better when you were sexually harassing me. You all heard that? He says he likes it. Can we just do the question? Today's question comes from Marvin. Yeah, help! <laughs> I need to know who built this funky-ass Raccoon City police station. It's super weird. Ah! Is that guy dying? The original Raccoon City police station burned down in the 1960s prank war. Police station burned down in a prank war? <gasps> popcorn emoji, popcorn emoji. Yes, please. What happened? It started April 1st, 1967. The RCPD snuck into the city fire department and greased the pole. <laughs> In return, the firemen swapped the policemen's donuts with bagels. <clears throat> hey, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers, don't make me cuff you. <laughs> Police would pull one prank. Confetti? It's supposed to be water! <laughs> and the firemen would respond in kind with bagels. Freeze! You're under, uh, uh... His gun's a bagel! Get him! <laughs> this culminated with the classic burning down the police station prank. All right, so Raccoon City needs a new police department. That's right, but the mayor didn't have the budget to rebuild. So resident bazillionaire Simon Belmont Jr. donated his resources to build a new state-of-the-art police station. Simon Belmont? Like Castlevania? His great-grandson. He was made astoundingly rich by the Castlevania treasures passed down to him. What is, do you guys know what this is about? People of small American town, I will build your new police station, not because I believe in your justice system, yeah. but because you're in desperate need of sexy European sophistication. Once completed, I invite you all to leave your teepees, shacks, and mud holes I assume you live in and get yourself a little culture, yeah? You talk fancy! Yeah, yeah. Now it's 2 p.m., so I must be soaking cabbages and goat milk for supper, as all Europeans do! Woo! Goat's milk! Kisses! Ah, milky goat cabbage, just like Mom used to make in the old mud hole. Simon set out to construct the building with a European sensibility, complete with candelabras, secret entrances, and those toilet things that shoot water up your butthole. Yeah, so I need two marble busts over here with eyes that sparkle like midnight diamonds. They need to look bloated with an expression of delight, yet despair, as if you were being blackmailed while hosting Family Feud. Two Louis Anderson busts. Got it. Hey, which way to the bathroom? Just go down the hall, up the stairs, place the jade amulet in the king's scepter. A wall will open over the course of 40 seconds. Very sexy. Spikes will lower from the ceiling. Watch for those and simply pay attention to the three paintings to solve the riddle and get the bathroom door open in a European nanoschmert. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea what a nanoschmert is, and I crapped my pants while you were talking. Oh, my. You don't need a bathroom. You need the keys to my hotel room. Psst. I'm into poop stuff. As all Europeans are! Huh. I guess that explains it. A police fireman prank war burned the old one down, and a Transylvanian billionaire weirdo built a sexy European new one. Marvin, you can carry on knowing your mystery is now un unexplained. He's dead. Oh. <laughs> So what about the T-Virus? How did that get out? The firemen accidentally released the T-Virus in a hilarious snakes-in-a-can prank. Holy shit. 
They killed millions. Yeah, but the firemen got him back pretty good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>